gentlemen, wherever you are, requesting you to kindly cooperate and get back to your seats in the interest of time. I'm happy to be part of this conclave today. India International Film Tourism Conclave. This is something that we all look forward to. Me not as a producer alone, but as an actor too. Because when I go and watch films, I'm a complete movie buff. And I like to go and watch films in the theatres with my popcorns and cold coffees. And when I go to the theatre, what attracts me apart from the script is definitely the location. Because when I see a, a film, I look at the locations and at the back of my mind it starts working the minute I come back home as a homemaker, as a mother, as to where my next holiday destination is going to be with my children. So if there's a particular location which, which completely attracts me, I start planning on that. And that is how movies help in tourism. It's not about how we bring up the different countries into our cinema, but how we have seen films from different parts of the globe coming and shooting in India and showing the right as well as bit of the wrong side of our Indian cinema. Because all over the world, the minute you talk about Indian cinema, the first thing they show is the, these, the slums, the bad roads. I think this is something which when we, uh, as the Indian continent, as a country, when we all come together to show all the right sides of the other countries, I think India is beyond the slums, the bad roads, or the traffic, or the pollution. There is a lot more. There's a diversity. There's, we call Pan-India. There's so much of culture. We are the richest country in heritage and culture. And I think it becomes the prime responsibility of the producers who come from different parts of the countries in the, in the world over to show the right side of a country exactly the way we, the producers, show the best side of your country. And of course, every country has their ups and downs their own flaws, their own problems, but we do not reflect them. We show all the right sides to improve your tourism. And I think all the people from different parts of the country who are into this conclave and who are going to take this message to your different uh, partners world over, it's very important that you take the message right that India has some beautiful locations, India has some fantastic a heritage and culture which can be shown to the world and put us on a global map for all the right reasons. Now when we talk about tourism, I've had some wonderful experience shooting abroad for my films, my me as a producer and my husband being a director too. I would like to share a very small uh, information with you or rather my experience when I was shooting for a, not even for a film but a serial which I did for a television a few years ago and I shot in Singapore. And let me tell you, it was such a fantastic experience because I didn't go through the travel agents. I went to the to, uh, to, to the uh, straight to the government body, governing body of uh, Singapore, to, uh, Singapore, and I spoke to them, saying that I need to shoot in your country and I want to show all the positive side. And believe me, 15 days I shot there, and not even a day I had a problem. The government of Singapore had provided us with a huge bus. They had provided us with a letter that we could shoot in any part of Singapore, free of cost. They had given us a tourist agent who if we couldn't speak in the local language, then there was a person with us who would take us to different parts of the uh, country and show us that city that we knew of course the places, but then he was there to guide us that this is what we, we can shoot. These are the locations. We didn't have to go recce the locations or plan. 15 days we went, we shot for 15 days, we finished work and we came back. And I think that was the most beautiful experience. With me shooting abroad, we have had, I, have, I mean, I have never faced problems when I was shooting abroad. But yes, like Ravik Marsa or Vasu Sir or Shivana, when they were talking, they did share their experiences, which are not very, very pleasant ones. I think it also, uh, the onus depends on the producers, us also, as to how much we put our minds into the planning. Rather than depending completely on the travel agents, I think we need to take personal care and decide as to how far this location to that location. I mean, it's, it's so easily available now. You can Google it at the tip of your finger. So I think we should also take a personal responsibility and say that how are we going to plan a shoot and how from one distance to the other distance is going to take. Now, when we're talking about conclave, we have it in Chennai, we have it in Bangalore, I'm sorry, in Hyderabad and then in Bombay. But I would like to request the Film Federation as well as IAFTC 
to see that we have these kind of conclaves in Bangalore and Trivandrum also because the kind of films that have been made in those two states, I think more than us, every other film in Kerala is shot abroad. And let me tell you, they go for a month or 40 days to shoot because every time I, uh, I speak to a couple of my friends, my co-star, they're saying, we are traveling for a month to Canada, we are traveling for a month to Spain, we are traveling for a month to Dubai. So I think it becomes very important that you have these kind of conclaves in those states and give and provide them with the kind of facilities we are talking about. Uh, there was an experience, a friend of mine, uh, you know, when we were talking about visas, that how the countries have to work on easing out the visas when you're traveling to the, uh, to the places for the shooting. PVP was planning to shoot in abroad and the entire unit left. But they couldn't shoot for a week because the leading lady's visa was not granted at the last moment and the entire unit was stalled for a week. So imagine a producer with the entire unit traveling abroad to Europe where it's, it's frightfully expensive and you go there and then the visa is not granted at the last minute and it takes a week because the working hours are different. When we sleep, you wake up. When you wake up, we go back to sleep. So these things, I think we need to work. We definitely need to work on the ideas as to how, when you're providing the visa, because we all give it together, there are, the unit goes as a combined visa, but then the main actors or the main technicians, you go with solo visas, individual visas. So when you do that, I think it becomes the prime responsibilities of the participating countries to make sure that the visas are granted on time, make sure that we do not face these kind of problems, and most importantly, our producers do not face any kind of financial difficulties when they're shooting abroad. We definitely would uh, appreciate if the participating countries, when we come there to shoot, because we trust you, we trust our entire, it's a blind trust rather, because we come there, we expect that you are going to be there to help us. But it would really appreciate if there is a representative from the concerned country, by the country governing body, and say this particular person is assigned to be with you, to do the job, to help you out in case of difficulties, wherever you are shooting with us. So I think that is one area which we really, really need to look into it because when we build tourism, we are building a relationship with the country. And this relationship is not about different countries, but I think as movie lovers world over, we, we actually make friendships with each other. Today we are talking about uh, pan-India, the diversity, but I think how cricket is a religion in most of the countries, including India. I think cinema is another part of uh, our country globally where we feel that we all are connected because there's, there cannot be a country where you say that they don't love cinema. We all are cinema lovers. So it keeps us united, it gets us together, it makes us friends. We may be strangers, but somewhere because we love cinema and the love we have for good cinema, I think it brings us together and says that we need to stand united when there's a, there's a trouble in the film world. And that, is, that goes when you come to India or when we come to your country to shoot. And India has always made a point, you know, not now, it's not now with the, with the digital development. I think way back, many, many years ago, the biggest showman of a country of India was Raj Kapoor. And the kind of fan following about Raj Kapoor, people knew about India in Russia is because of one man called Mr. Raj Kapoor. So today, even Russia, you go to Russia, people turn back, oh, you come from the land of Mr. Raj Kapoor? That is the kind of honors where people look up at us and say that, okay, there was one man who could take it forward. Like uh, we spoke about Yashopra, sir. How in Switzerland, they tell you that, oh, you come from the land of Yashopra? You go to Malaysia and they say, you come from the land of Shah Rukh Khan? Because he, Dawn was released and the entire film was shot there. He was given the highest honor of that. So I think, I think these, and today you have Indian actors like Priyanka Chopra or Irfan Khan, you know, leaving, leaving a mark uh, globally in different parts of the country, in Hollywood. So I think it becomes very important to say that we, we are connecting more than before, but this is just the beginning. There is a long way to go and we need to cement a relationship now. We need to form a firm ideas as to how we are going to take it forward from here to different parts of the globe because the six countries which are participating, uh, filmmaking does not end 
the locations do not end with those six countries. It's really, really happening and glad to see the uh, six countries coming forward. But there are umpteen locations, the amount of locations you have in different parts of this world. So we need to go there. We need to explore the unexplored corners of this country and show the best part. This, this globe is ours. This earth is ours. How can we bring it forward? How can we bring out the best colors, the best nature and the best of sounds to the people who have not been there, probably who are not privileged enough to go to these areas firstly and watch. For them, it's like you look at the film and you say, wow, we shot in Japan two years back and believe me, we were shooting in a territory a little away and it has a prime minister of its own. So when we were shooting there for a film, we had such a wonderful experience that we had the prime minister coming and visiting us and asking us, is everything okay? Do you need any kind of help? So I, I think these, uh, you know, it gives so much of right message across saying that you have people who are there to guide you, who are there to help you, but we also need to understand that we need to work together. We join hands for the right reason and it's important that we actually keep up the faith we have in each other and do not misuse the trust and abide by the rules. It becomes our utmost duty to abide by the rules of the country we are visiting. But at the same time, it also works both the ways when both the countries come forward and you shake hands and you say that, yes, we are there for you just as you are there for us. So I am here today to tell you that uh, IIT, uh, IIFTC is a welcome and uh, you know, it's a, such a welcome change here that uh, sometimes for us, when I was uh, playing the leading roles, for me going to Uti and Kodekanal was the biggest outdoors. So I keep cursing, why my producers never planned this? Why this IIT, IIFTC was not there when I was playing the leading roles? I could have traveled globally because I love traveling. But today, I think, uh, you know, you have so much of eased out plans for people to travel, to go abroad, to shoot, to show the different areas and come back with pleasant memories because every time you travel, you take, you bring back, all you bring back is memories and movies is a section where you leave memories for many, 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 many years to come. Today with the films that are being made, you can show it even 100 years later and celebrate that this was the movie which actually gave uh, the right kind of addressing point to a particular country and this is the movie which actually gave us tourism. So I think we are there to help you and as the counterpart of this country, um, Film Federation and IIFTC uh, will always be there to help you, to guide you and to tell you which are the ways we work, which are the ways we stand united. Agreements and disagreements are part of the business. So let's agree to disagree, but at the same time, let's work together and say that united we stand and cinema is something that we all love. Today we all are here because we love cinema. So let's celebrate cinema because cinema is nothing but it's a celebration of different kinds of emotions and colors. So let's celebrate cinema and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.